Hess, who was teaching the Seneca Falls VFW drum at Google Corps. Uh -huh. We uh, started taking lessons from him, uh, I think it was in 48. Okay. And by the time 49 uh, came along, uh, he had me ready for the uh, uh, NARD exam. Exactly. Some of our lessons got to be outrageous. I was paying a dollar fifty a, cr uh, a crack on the lessons. That much, huh? Oh, dollar <laughs> fifty. And uh, sometimes they lasted four or five hours. One night it lasted six. <laughs> but uh, he lit a fire under me at that time that uh, was unquenchable. I uh. never forgot what he was able to provide me with a background and for inspiration. He just turned me on so much. Yeah. Took an audition for the West Point band, passed it, and I was finally assigned to West Point uh, August 1st, 1950. So you've written a lot, a lot of things. Too much. Uh, start compiling uh, stuff and putting it in books and start sending it around to various publishers because I was crazy to write. It, uh, right up to the end, I was determined to get down what I had in my mind. I got out of the hospital the day after I got out. I wrote a one called Coronary Bypass. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I, in the last, since 97, I've been going berserk. Uh, I think right now I'm up to 96 or 97 solos. This is your latest? That's the, that's the latest. Uh, rudimental solos for accomplished drummers. There it is. Wow. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've heard playing like that. <laughs> there are 45 rudiments in that one. I want to see how you wrote some of those things. Oh. Goodness gracious. Well, that was a treat. Amazing. Yeah, I, I never questioned what I did, and I never looked back. <laughs>